fasted training, does it really do what it says on the tin and make you faster? Or is it just another training fad that should be avoided? In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what we mean by fasted training, the pros, the cons, and how it's implemented. In the simplest of terms, fasted training means exercising while on an empty stomach. It is mostly done in the morning as a pre-breakfast ride. By riding on an empty stomach, you are effectively encouraging your blood to burn fat rather than carbohydrates as fuel. The theory behind this style of training is that it will increase your efficiency, burn more fat, and improve your metabolism when in a rested state. How to do it. It is relatively easy to do fasted training. All you have to do is ride on an empty stomach. So with your evening meal as your last thing that you ate, complete your easy ride in the morning before you've had breakfast. You can have water, black coffee or tea, but nothing with carbohydrates. Some nutritionists suggest that you are allowed to have a small amount of protein for your breakfast, such as an omelet, but this is really down to personal preference. A majority of fasted rides are between one to two hours in duration and are completed in a high zone one or low to mid zone two. Controlling your effort on these fasted rides is incredibly important. If you go too hard, then your body will not be able to handle it and you will end up going through the dreaded bonk. Completing one fasted ride per week is plenty and you should not attempt a fasted ride if there are any major intensity in your session. You'll be burning through the carbohydrates that, look, simply you just don't have to spare. And this will negatively impact your efforts. Once you have built up a slight resistance over multiple weeks, you could try some aerobic efforts, but you have to be cautious with these. The pros. Fasted training can have some pretty major benefits if done correctly. You're gonna hear me say this a lot in this video, but fasted training should be an addition to an already effective training schedule. Fasted training will help you burn more fat. There's no doubt about it. If you have gone 12 hours plus without eating, then most people's liver's glycogen stores are gonna be depleted and the muscles have around you know, 60 to 90 minutes of glycogen stored in them. It is common to have black coffee before doing these sessions as that also helps increase fat metabolism and increasing your fat metabolism can lead to losing weight, improving body composition and reducing the reliance on carbohydrates too. That said, if your sole goal is to lose weight, then all you need to focus on is calories in, calories out. And therefore fasted training may be a method that works for you in the calories out department. It's not all positives, there are some pretty big risks too. The biggest con to fasted training is pretty obvious. You're running the risk of having no energy. Bonking, hitting the wall, or having that energy crash, whatever you wanna call it, they all have the same result and are equally grim. When you're in this state, you're useless. I reckon an everyday cyclist could beat a bonked Garrett Thomas. Being out on the bike with no energy is something that every cyclist has done at least once, but all of us want to avoid. Crawling home cross-eyed is never fun, and for that reason alone, I suggest carrying a high-carb snack in your back pocket. No, just in case. Equally, not refueling properly after your ride can have a major knock-on effect for your next day's training session. Unfortunately, it's a matter of trial and error with this method of training as you really need to learn your own body. If you find yourself irate or low energy later in the day, you probably didn't eat enough post-ride. Riding fasted is gonna put stress on your body. While it may look like it from the outside, it's not the silver bullet to get in fit. Getting it wrong can result in hampering your recovery and derail your training plan you're following. If done correctly, it's a great addition, but please proceed with caution. Does it work? Like many things in sports science, there is no definite answer to does it work question. You'll often hear it depends when talking about the pros of different training methods, and this is no different. Bradley Wiggins reportedly followed a relatively tight structure of fasted rides to the build-up of the 2012 Tour de France victory. But he was also quite public in saying that 
one to a victory and required dedication that comes with it in terms of weight management was enough. Fasted training is a marginal gain. It should be a final tweak or addition to a training schedule that is already highly optimized and efficient. If you are missing other important parts such as sleep, recovery, then you should not attempt to fast as well. Have you ever attempted fasted training? If so, how did you find it? Did you ever get it wrong and end up miles away from home in a bonk state? Let us know in the comments section below.